Velociraptor. Today, we are not wasting any time in saying that there's a 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag suggested by Tramp, so we're going to be doing that today. Um, before I begin, let's uh, say a big warm welcome to Chloe, um, to Femme Ferocity as our new Thursday. Mwah! You are a special person indeed, and I am so happy that you're here, so it's going to be a whole boatload of fun from here on in. Um, so let's do this tag, hey? So this was suggested by Tramp, and um, there's a series of questions now. It's a million, million, million degrees to gay. To, to, to gay. Wow, that was a Freudian slip. A million degrees today and I've got a fan blowing up behind me. I really hope that doesn't interfere with the audio too much. If it does, I will cry. Um, but let's just go to it. My, look, my desk is just a freaking mess. Um, there's just, I just, oh, just, I can't get it together today. So I'm just going to do this video and hopefully it comes out well. Um, put the weather away. Stop screeching at me, telephone. Okay, so the questions. So question one is greed. What is your most inexpensive beauty item and what is your most expensive? So so, well, my, uh, we'll start off with most expensive, hey? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that my Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation in number six, which is this beautiful little thing here, was my most expensive item that I've ever purchased um, makeup-wise. When I, at the time of purchasing it, it was $65. Luckily now, MAC have dropped their prices, MAC, Illamasqua, sorry, have dropped their prices permanently, and it is now 40, so it's much, much, much more affordable. Um, my second one is probably my MAC Matchmaster Pro Foundation, which I used to use, but as you can see, it is far, far, far too warm warm as opposed to the stuff I use now but that was very expensive I believe that was 56 or something like that so that's my most expensive stuff um, 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 um. now most inexpensive I've got them freaking fleeting around here everywhere but they are these brushes by the brand essence which is one of these absolutely bottom of the barrel you can find them at most drug stores um, including Priceline and Target um, this brand essence and I have bought up their brushes because these brushes are two dollars fifty five um, which you know, I find I can go through, you know, 15 brushes in one single look, so, um, you know, to stock up on brushes that are, that are so easily affordable, even if they do really suck, they'll get the job done, they'll do the trick, so, um, yeah, you can see that, and they're, like, I'll give you, like, I know it's blue, but you'll get the idea, they're actually quite soft, so, you know, for $2.55, why not, so, if you're in Australia and you find this brand, give the brushes a look, because, you know, that cheap, you can't go wrong. Question number two, wrap. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? What product has been the hardest to get? Well, um, this would be it. Um, my um, Blemish Fighting St. Ives Naturally Clear Apricot Scrub, which is an exfoliator. I have a love-hate relationship with this product because it has salicylic, sal salicylic, salicylic acid in it. Um, so it's fantastic for your skin, but if you overuse it, then you look like you got blush all over your goddamn face. And it's just, I find that I will either use it straight and my skin will tend to flare up because I'm over I'm over exfoliating in the in that period of time or I'm under exfoliating and my skin breaks out so I have a love-hate relationship with this product because of the routine based with it hardest product to get has been anything here in Australia over SPF 30 um, in sunscreen I picked this one up in Malaysia and it is SPF 70 and it's ocean portion and it smells it's like a, this lovely citrusy smell and it's really really pretty um, and I really enjoy this product but this product is so hard to obtain. Um, I know in Australia we have some we have some of the highest rates of cancer and stuff in the world here, um, skin cancer because of the fucking sun, but we can't get over SPF 30 and I understand because over, once you get over 30 it's negligible blah 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 blah, but I want over 30. Give me over 30. So um, if anyone is out there who has anything more than SPF 30 please send it to me. Anyway, moving on. Um, that's been a very hard one to obtain. So the next question is gluttony. What is your most delicious beauty products? Well, um... Where is it? Where is it? It's a lipstick that I have that I love. Here it is. This is the Kate Hudson um, Colour 11 in Ribble. And it looks like this kind of a shade. Um, I'm not actually wearing it at the moment, but... Oh. Oh. It just smells like strawberries and coconut and just everything that has to do with smiles, so very fitting for the lips. Absolutely freaking adore that product. Um, that's probably it. Next question. 
Question for Sloth, what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? Well, it would be cleaning my face at the end of the night. Um, I currently am using um, the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Towelettes um, to, uh, you know, finish off the cleansing job. Uh, a bit of baby oil sometimes to take off makeup and stuff. Um, and obviously toners and cleansers and things like that. Um, but, oh god damn it, especially if I'm drunk, um, you know, I'll get home and I'll just be like, oh that's fine, I'll just sleep with all my makeup. Up on, which is, I know, a golden rule, you should not do that. I wake up in the morning and I pull my face off the pillow and it's looking back at me and I'm just like, ah! <laughs> Question number five, pride. What uh, beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? Uh, well, I guess it would be one of my absolute, like, the basic basics, I guess. Um, for example, um, like a concealer. Concealer is definitely good. I, oh my god, why have I not cleaned this up before I started shooting this video? It's here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, um, which I use, um, CC210 in Illa Masca, which is very light. Very sort of, um, that one, because, I, like I said, I do tend to get blemishes a lot because I'm very lazy with my skincare routine. Of course, also foundation. Um, foundation teamed up with concealer. A bit of um, eyeliner which I use Smolder by MAC. Um, that's sort of my very very basic of course with a bit of mascara and that's that's about it. Uh, once I have those products on I definitely do feel more on point and I definitely feel a little bit more like me. So I think those things um, attribute to me feeling proud about myself. I guess? Yeah? Next question? Cool? Yeah let's move on. Yeah. Question number six. Lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? Well, um, in the opposite sex, I find the uh, attributes that are the most attractive are... Um, oh, okay, perfect example. Um, has anyone seen American Horror Story? Yeah, you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, season one, um, the maid, she went in her young form. Oh, <gasps> that look, she was absolutely stunning. Oh my god. Um, again, um, another example is uh, Jessica from True Blood. That absolutely milky white porcelain skin. Dita Von Teese is another one. That really classic look with, you know, maybe like a crimson sort of a red, you know, lip, um, a dark smoky eye, um, and... Oh my god, that's just, oh my god, that's just absolutely amazing for me. I think that's the most attractive look um, in terms of beauty and just, oh, I don't know. I mean, of course it's all subjective, but that is something I find I'm incredibly attracted to in women. I'm so out of it today. Question number seven. Envy, what items would you most like to receive as a, a gift? Well, I think um, products that I can not get here in Australia would be my probably on the top of my list. Um, for example, Urban Decay. Um, I use Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion um, and I just find, I know there's probably better ones out there, but this one is the best that I've ever used and I picked this one up in actually France when I was over in Europe the other year. and um, it still gets me around. Um, Tommy actually sent me out another one um, here. So, mm, love these ones. So, definitely I love receiving those as gifts. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I really, really, really love black lipstick, as you may know. Um, Jake even said um, that it was my signature look. So, um, I like that. Um, I really was interested in Max Black Knight. Is that what it's called? Black Knight? And it's like a matte, jet black lipstick. And, oh, fucking sex on legs, man. But I just, I just can't afford a MAC lipstick when they're, I don't know, they're like 30 bucks, are they, here in Australia? I don't know, but like, I just don't have that cash to blow on a lipstick. Um, I just, I just don't. So I guess maybe around Christmas when I'm earning more cash than I can, but presents, presents, awesome. Send me presents, send me money, send me something. So, anyway, guys, that's the end of this Wednesday. I guess that's all I have to really say, isn't it? Um, except follow Tommy's new, subscribe to Tommy's new YouTube channel. He, um, I think, uh, I think it's XX Glitter Kisses XX. I'll post the link to it down below. But it's his new sort of official channel, so jump up there and subscribe because it'll be really fun to see what videos he will post up there. I will be definitely tuning in. Um, also, Emily, um, who won our Halloween giveaway, please let a brother know. Have you, um, received our gift pack thing yeah, yeah, I'll give away yet because it was supposed to be uh, I mailed it off I don't know what was it a week or two, no not a week like two weeks ago and it was supposed to get to you in, within 10 days via registered post so I really really hope you received it because they've got lost in the mail oh my god how are we going to recover that um, so really hope you got it <laughs> anyway that's all from me so I guess until next Wednesday I'll talk to Alvarez soon alright see you later guys